isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Crashing through the lies and disinformation, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Everybody out there engaged in evil. Better think about that. When I commit evil, I'm conscious of it. Don't like it. Sometimes I just can't help it. None of us are perfect, but my hearts, that's what God looks at. And my heart is good. I want to be good. Final segment, I want to jam in as many phone calls as possible. Briefly, it's up on Infowars.com from ClimateDepot.com. Bill Nye confuses South Pole with North Pole in climate debate. He's now admitted that it was wrong. The North Pole and the South Pole have record ice right now. They always point satellites at it in the summer when they shrink. I can understand how you get that confused because it's down at the Antarctic where it's summer where these guys got stuck on the ice and they had to get the rescuers to come pick point up. Is the just rescuers that, got stuck. point is it's all a fraud. But yeah. the reason I raise this is that, is that they're not making a mistake. When they get caught, they backtrack. Look at Kerry saying the volcano. Yeah. was caused by global warming. I mean, That's right. Man-made global warming. So there's, there's two different things. They're saying that it's man-made global warming volcanoes. So. Which has nothing to do with it. No, no. I mean, no scientists say that. I mean, this is just total kookville. Uh, but they, they want to get carbon taxes in and take over society. Jay in North Carolina, go ahead. You're on the air. Hi, Alex. Uh, I woke up on 9-11 and I found you a year later, and we're trying to work on solutions to uh, the problems that we're having. I'm worried about a lot of things in this country. I listen to you every day. Uh, we're, we're starting, we're constituting common law grand juries in, the, in all 3,141 3, counties. We've got 94 counties constituted right now. Uh, New York, this started in New York State, and they have uh, 64 counties. They've got over half of their counties. They've got 33 constituted, and they're having elections in another 15 counties this week. Yeah, like here, here's the deal. Election. The New World Order doesn't recognize all that. And, and, and I understand that, that uh, in, in policy, you could say that it, that it has some place in common law since the Magna Carta of 1215. Uh, it's just some of the talk show hosts and people that every year, you know, this is going to fix everything, and it never does. And they just restart the thing up over again. But send me some info on that information. We need to change the entire culture back to a culture of liberty. 
where people are informed about their basic freedoms and jealously guard them. Jealously guard them. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to, um, who's up next here? Uh, Wiz in Ohio. You're on the air. Go ahead. Alex, David, it's a pleasure to talk to you both. Uh, Alex, I hope you feel better soon. Thank you. That you're under the water. Hey, you've got the Army up there trying to confiscate your guns. It's in the news. How do you like that? Well, actually, I'm just passing through Ohio, but I, I travel a lot through Ohio, Iowa, uh, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Carolinas. So I get I get around. But uh, the main point that I was uh, wanted to raise was that people say, well, this is the problem. The problem is the NSA, or the problem is this, or the problem is that. And that's true. Those things are all... The problem is we have a rogue criminal government. Well, actually, I think the problem lies with the American public itself. I agree. They will only get away with as much as the American public allows them to. So that's my one of my main points. My, my question for you, Alex and David, is this. Um, you know, here's Obama now in his second term. You know, already, okay, so his... Setting the president term. to be a dictator so that he can leave and a new dictator come in, yeah. Well, and, and here's here's the thing. He's now... And again, it's, it's a new thing. Term. It's an elected dictator. Mm -hmm. So they come in, right. they get elected, but then they operate as a dictatorship outside of the other branches of government. Yes. My point is that his his approval ratings are so low or every, uh, and all this stuff, but the damage is already done. I don't understand why the American public doesn't recognize these things much more quickly. It's just history repeating. Because they were raised and, from and birth again. with five poisons put in their water, as, as the Time Magazine admits, to brain damage them. I appreciate your call. And Thank because you. they were raised watching television the whole time. Go ahead. No, I said thanks for thanks for taking my call. First time caller. Have a great night. Thank you. God bless you for calling in. You look at what's going on with Congress. They've only got a nine percent approval rating. So I guess he's looking. Look, at I, I found it at six percent. I, I found yeah. it and put it up earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found it. I'm, in fact, I'll put it back up again right now. So he says I can go a lot further. They don't. They don't like me. They can go further down. Yeah, it's six. It's now six. Yeah. Uh, let's talk to uh, Mark in Missouri. Mark, you're on the air. Go ahead. Alex. Hey, buddy. How we doing? I'm doing all right. Go ahead. Hey. I wanted to make a quick point here. Um, the United States is supposed to be a Protestant nation. That's how it started. And we are under attack by the same forces that drove people here in the first place in search of uh, religious freedom. And the reformers, Luther, Wycliffe, Huss, Calvin, their research proved that the Pope of Rome is the Antichrist, and the, the first beast in Revelation 13, if you use the Bible to decipher the prophecy, is the Roman Catholic Empire, and the second beast, beast with ram-like horns that speaks like a dragon is the United States. Sure, sure. Let me and, just say this, though. Let me just say this. We opened the phones up to talk about the military stuff, and, and it's fine that people are calling in about everything under the sun. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> uh, but... I just want to ask this question, and I, and I know this country was founded originally as a colony, uh, predominantly Protestant. My ancestors um, on both sides of the family came over on the Mayflower uh, in uh, one group of my uh, kin on my mom and dad's side. But at the same time, sure, people can sit there and talk about the fights of the Reformation and all the stuff that went on with Martin Luther and the rest of it, and kind of the Reformation coming out of the Renaissance. And that undoubtedly you know, is what happened historically. My issue is... All these big mainline Protestant churches are like, turn your guns in, worship government. Uh, you know, the government is basically, you know, Obama is basically the Pope. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you got the, the, the United States government doing everything it can to kind of, and I'm not defending Catholics, I'm not getting into a fight on this, but the, I mean, the, the media and stuff has been going after the Catholics, in, in my view. So I think there's a balkanization here. I think down the road, things will get more consolidated. David, what's your take? And I appreciate your call. Well, I think the real danger here is the church's interpretation in so many places of Romans 13. To say that if the government is there, God put it there, you better get down and bow to it. That's not the proper interpretation. We got a great book by Chuck Baldwin that we sell here about that. People need to educate themselves. Just read it and substitute Hitler and see if that makes any sense. Well, the entire the Bible is about people being killed or tortured exactly. for not following government orders. Yeah, you can see what uh, what the Apostle Paul did. I mean, he, he mean the terrorist. For, yeah, he stood up for his rights. I mean, all through the Bible, you have a pattern of people standing up for their freedom, standing up to defend the defenseless, to according defend to main the fatherless, and to to help other people and to take the lead in that, to be shepherds right. in that. It's not to be passive to evil men. That's not the intent of the Bible. Well, that's right. You see it throughout. But people just want to cop out. You know, they're scared of the government. That's right. And so the government's going to eat their lunch with the criminals that run it. I mean, it's that simple, folks. A nation of sheep will be ruled by wolves. And according to these modern churches, Christ would be a terrorist.
He spoke out against the you know the banks. He 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 beat bankers with bullwhips, mm -hmm. uh, with cat or nine tails. So uh, there you go. Or was it a riding crop? I forget. What was it he beat him with in the temple? It was some kind of whip. Yeah. And he'd be sent to Gitmo for that today. That's right. Uh, let's talk to Justin in Colorado. Justin, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hello, Alex. Hey. Hey, um, I just want to say I've been listening to you for uh, about nine years. I've been listening to you religiously. I love you guys. All right, but uh, I moved out to this town in Colorado about three years ago from L.A. to work in the oil field. There's no work out in L.A., so I moved out here. And there's, I've never seen any any uh, chemtrails ever. And uh, this is a small town, about 2,500 people. That's the weather modification there. that's going on. The government admits they're doing. Yeah. They call it geoengineering, though. Go ahead. More persistent country. I've seen the I know about the chemtrails. I've seen all the videos. I've seen everything. No, no, I was talking for new right. listeners that may not know what that is. All right. Sorry, sir. And he thought I was putting him down. Oh. So you see, the, 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 there's a thing in talk radio where where you've got to introduce a topic nobody does this free for all where it's just any oh our phone system just shut down okay oh, okay well good I, and i might sound grumpy towards the callers they apologize i'm really sick yeah i can't uh, believe you're doing the radio <laughs> i saw you before the show i didn't i didn't think you were going to do the whole show well I, it's a lot better than just laying on the couch of the bed feeling like i've been run over yeah. it was a lot better actually I mean, it's kind of warm too and a little toasty i could yeah. roast chestnuts on my face or whatever that's right anyways great job of the crew coming out on sundays we're every sunday 4 to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, and then, of course, weekdays, uh, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And you can go to the uh, audio and free video feeds and everything at Infowars.com forward slash show. It has the free podcast. And we'll turn this around if people just spread the word about the show and don't act like slaves to government. I mean, if I was walking down the road and ran from a chihuahua, it would chase me trying to bite me. And the wicked flee when none pursue. Well, we flee from the system and grovel to it and bow and I see the average American, you know, and it's just incredible how much they love to grovel. And I think about how un-American that is. And I think about seeing the movie finally last night on Blu-ray of uh, Captain Phillips, which is a true story, how nobody on the ships can arm themselves, only government can. So it took a troop ship and two destroyers to save him. And then it's like, oh, they're heroes and all this stuff. And it's just like, what a joke. And I'm not saying that, you know, the Navy SEALs at 60 yards that weren't good at shooting people in the head. But they want to pacify. Do that when I was five years old, by the way. Do what? They want to pacify everybody, make them totally dependent on the government for everything. Not just for your food and your clothing and your housing, but also for your safety. And they want to create a security state. I mean, absolutely, security absolutely. State. Of course, there are some Navy SEALs that can shoot people at three miles away, so I can't do that. <laughs> My point is the movie is incredible propaganda. God bless you all. See you back tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central, Lord willing. If I'm sick, David will be here. My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere.